Hello my croutons and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you how to give your character alternate costumes that the player can swap to in game whenever they like. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going to have to do is some drawing. I'll create a very simple drawing up here just for the sake of time, but you can be as detailed as you want. Something I would encourage is to create a base of the character and to then draw their clothing on separate layers. Once you have a couple of versions of your character with different clothing, you can place the image file into your character's folder. Now start up RPG Maker MV. The first thing we need to do is set the player to whichever costume you want them to start off in. We do this by going into the database and then actors and then simply changing the character image. Now exit the database and create an event. You can set the trigger to activate however you like depending on the situation. I'll set mine to the action button and then I'll set the priority to same as character so we can interact with it. Now, create a show text event that asks the player a question. Do you want to change costumes, for example? Now, create a show choices event with a yes or no option. If you're making this an auto run event, you can skip this step. Now, inside yes, create a change actor images event. Using this event, we can change the graphics of an actor without having to create multiple party members. In this event, set the character graphic to whichever costume you wish to use. Now simply run the game. You should be able to interact with the event, and it should, if we click yes, change your actor's current graphic. To change it back, simply create another change actor images event, and set it back to the previous costume. If you wish to give the player an option, just create another show choices event inside of yes, and have it list all of the costume's names. Then set a change actor images that switches the graphic to said costume inside of each option. You can also do this with items. Just put all of this eventing inside a common event and run it with an item. There you go! Now you can change your actor's costume whenever you want. I hope this helps you out my croutons, and with that, I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo!